Hey, uh, hello everybody out there in YouTube land and wherever you may listen to this uh, video. I just wanted to come along and prayerfully encourage someone regarding their finances and their debt and life uh, in general, I guess. <clears throat> so, you know, with this coronavirus uh, came a lot of, a lot of, um, financial difficulty for some some have lost their jobs or either their <clears throat> excuse me hours have been shortened you know various things has ha have happened uh, regarding people individuals finances and uh, a lot of people have already had a lot of debt out you know they have this on credit that on credit and things of that nature so I wanted to encourage us that you know don't try to hold on to those things I mean they're things if you can't afford it, you need to let it go. Because in the first place, you couldn't afford it. Because anything that we have to put on credit, we cannot afford. If you cannot pay cash for the item, you cannot afford the item, okay? And I know the world system is set up in such a way, you know, that's what they, you know, you, you're buying things on credit. <clears throat> and having all of these di different debts and bills and stuff like that, that's not good. It's, it's too much. You know, I mean, maybe one or two things might be needful, but otherwise, I mean, people have so many uh, response or obligations uh, to their in their household that they should really, uh, you know, um, you know, reduce or slam down. I remember like 2013, 14, or uh, 2013 or 14, God had told me to slim down on a lot of things even though I didn't have a lot of things out I, we've never had cable and you know most of our automobiles would be paid cash or or you know or lower you know not you know lower priced or something like that but I, we never really had like a, a, a lot of debt <clears throat> my biggest debt was um student loans which I wish I had not taken out <laughs> uh, but other than that and that was a long time ago thank God for that 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 uh, nightmare is over but you know you have to slim down you know you, you do you really need cable do you really need all of the things and things and things that other people have just because other people have it and that's a lot of reason why a lot of us get things because somebody else has it you know what I'm saying? Like you need it, you know, because I've seen people take out loans for cable. Like cable is not an essential. Your <clears throat> telephone is, is an essential. You need a telephone. You might not need a cell, cellular phone, but you do need some way to communicate, like a home phone or something like that. You do need a phone. That is an essential. Having heat and or cooling and electricity are essential essential to your household. Those are things you need. Food. We need food. You know what I mean? Uh, if you don't have health care, sometimes depending on your income, health care is provided for you by the state. Um, what else do we need that's essential that we need to pay for? So uh, I can't think of anything right now. But... And then the, the car, but the car, uh, you know, don't you don't have to get the highest, the the highest uh, cost or price highest price car. You can get a mid grade to low grade vehicle, but because you see somebody else driving good, as you call it, you want to get the biggest and the the baddest and the latest also, and and it's like, but you really can't afford that, you know. Because if you could, you would pay cash for it. But you can't. You know what I mean? Then there's a vacation. I've seen people put vacations, even weddings, on, you know, credit. It's like, those are things you need to save up for. Why in the world would you be putting a vacation on a credit card? You know, unless you have it, you know, you have the money for it. And you put it on credit. You know, because you 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 just <clears throat> because that's the way you're gonna be paying for it. But you're gonna you can pay it right off as soon as your your um, uh, vacation is over with. But I see people put a vacation on a on credit. It's like if you can't afford a vacation to put a va pay for a vacation or use uh, cash for a vacation, you don't need a vacation. Okay, 
you don't need a vacation. You've been sloppy, very sloppy and uh, undisciplined if you have not saved money for a vacation. You know, if you want to take it, you need to save up, save up for it. You know, if it's, you know, a big vacation and even, uh, uh, what was I saying about, um, uh, a wedding? I mean, you, you knew that you were getting married. If you wanted to, you know, put, a, you know, have this elaborate wedding, then you should have saved up for it. Why would you put that such a thing? I mean, we're ridiculous. We're getting ridiculous in America, putting so many things, foolish, non-essential things on credit. You know what I mean? But I just want to encourage you, if your house is in foreclosure, near foreclosure, you don't, don't try to hold on to it. Don't be depressed and all of that. Don't try to hold on to it. Let it go go give it back to the bank for which it came from which it came send it back let it go you can't keep it because you can't afford to keep it but you're stressing yourself out you're stressing your family out and especially before your credit gets ruined go and rent you a nice place there's nothing wrong with renting people you are getting something for your rent payment you are getting a place to stay okay just and, and you were renting you are renting when you're a so-called homeowner in quotes you don't own the place you're paying on something and and it's just the same when you're renting you're paying on something you're paying on a place to stay sure in 30 years plus you know sometimes less you might own the place outright but I mean still that's a long time to go you know i mean it's up to you but it's a long time to go and uh you know so if you if you own a vehicle just give it back i mean what is the stress of being afraid of somebody coming to repo your car you go in a grocery store and you come back out and the car is gone i mean come on you know just give it back so you so you, you can avoid those that stress and though and, and that embarrassment, you know, uh, if you you know you own any whatever things you have out on credit, just let these people have those things back, and just let the chips fall where they may, you know. Sometimes you have to go to court, but bring your argument, your prayer and your argument, <laughs> and let them know you know your situation because a lot of people you know they know what's going on. A lot of people have lost their jobs or their pay has been reduced tri quite tremendously or dramatically, uh, dr drastically, I should say. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you know, they understand or they don't understand. And, and, and whether they understand or not, then you get that stress off of you. And then you get you a payment plan, $5, $10 or whatever. They can't, you know, you want people calling you, sending you all kind of threatening letters and, and calling you all, every single day on your phone. And you can't even, you, you're afraid to even answer your phone. And people, because people are calling you asking for money, give those people back their stuff. And be done with it. Make get you a payment plan. They can't do nothing for about it. Get tell them you can pay them five dollars per month, and that's what you can pay them. You know, if you can, if that, if you got, if you have that right now, you know what I mean. But whatever you have, tell them this is what I have. This is all I can give you per month. That's all you got to do. You can These people can can't kill you. They can't kill you. Okay, and you should not try to kill yourself with the debt. Okay, get rid of that stuff. Let that stuff go back. You can get that stuff again. You can go to the, and some of the stuff, you can go to the resale. You can go to any kind of uh, secondhand shop or secondhand, uh, you know, uh, business or whatever, whatever the thing is. You can get things used. Everything does not have to be brand new, you know, depending on what it is. So just do that. So I hope this encourages somebody to get rid of this stuff. I was talking to a woman, oh my goodness, not too long ago, and she was talking about how she's holding, they trying to hold on to their houses and then the house that her, their parents had um, uh, are going, all these things going in foreclosure and they still trying to struggle and try, trying to keep it. What is What mindset is that? That's the world's mindset. Let that stuff go. I'm telling you, it's freedom. It is freedom, okay? Let it go. Anyway, love you very much. Again, I hope that this message has been an encouragement to you. 
You know, it might be an, you know, because it's, and, and I understand you, you, you're probably embarrassed by it and all that. You know what? Nobody has, you don't have to be, no, you know, nobody has the right to be in your business. You don't have to be embarrassed by what you have and or don't have. That's your business. You don't have to have those things. You don't have to fit in with the world. You don't have to fit in with what the world is doing. If you don't have it, you don't have it. There's a lot of things I don't have. And I don't need them. Okay? I don't need them. I don't need headaches, bills, and debts, and stuff like that. I'm not trying to keep up with Joneses or, or anybody. I'm not trying to keep up with anybody. Okay? But God. That's it. Okay, that's really all. I don't have to, have to have a bunch of nonsense. I'm happy with what I have. And I got a lot of stuff. And I'm happy with what I have. You know, every now and again, I might need want a little cookware or something. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm happy with what I have. Very happy and content with the things that I have. And they're all paid for <laughs> in cash. Okay, yes, you know, I don't have any headaches and all that kind of stuff, I, and I don't want them, I don't want them, so, so anyway, love you very much, have a wonderful day, leave a comment if you have a question, or if you want to make a comment regarding this situation, you need prayer regarding this situation, we'd be happy to be praying for you regarding your situation as well, so leave a comment, or you can email us, our email information is in the the um about section of this channel all right love you bye bye for now